Hello Rat Bags, it's Jay Plays Games back with another Atlas video. Today is the day that I'm going to start showing you how to control and set up your own Atlas server. Now of course Atlas is an MMO online game. There is no single player and there are no plans to add a single player or offline mode at the moment. The sheer scale of Atlas where you're meant to travel for good amounts of time between areas of land mean that is almost impossible. But what it doesn't mean is that you have to actually own lots of servers for you to have a good time. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your grids, basically how to place your servers down correctly and in future videos I'm going to be showing you how to edit your actual maps so that you can put whatever biomes you want in your grid, your server, whatever you want. I'll also go over all the settings that you need as well for Atlas currently available on the Trado. The Trado are the official sponsors of all Arc Survival Evolve servers. And of course, they are now the official partners of Atlas. So if you want the best servers, make sure you get them through in the trade Now, I know a lot of you guys have just started to get your servers through. You pre-ordered them and they should be arriving or going online in the next few days if you haven't got them already. But if you're brand new to hosting or buying or renting a server, you can click on any link in one of my videos. The link will also be in the comment section down below and in the description too. If you do this, it will take you to the Arc the Trado splash page, but there's an important reason why you want to do this. You can get 10% off by using my code. So make sure you always click on a link, even when you're re-buying your server. If you're only buying one for a month, make sure you click on the link through one of my videos to re-buy your server the next month. Really helps me out, I'm an official partner of the Trado. The 10% is only off your first purchase though, just to be clear. All you have to do after that is go up to News, Click on the latest Atlas article and then click on the rent your own Atlas server. Now there is a lot of confusion how to do this or how much space you're going to get. Of course the official servers have thousands of servers available. So you may be thinking you need lots of servers to have a good time but no in fact you probably can do with just maybe four to get a really good experience. But if even four is too much you can go ahead and just rent one server and customize it so it has lots of islands. So again, if you're worried about the cost of things, it will be around the same price as an ARC normal server. But what the trader have done have grouped it up in packages to make it easier. But of course, you can customize and do it however you want. So if we click on the silver server, that offers four servers for 10 players each, one month from time. And like I said, you are able to edit the world and change a lot of the settings. This is the equivalent to four ARC servers. So imagine four ARC servers where you can put and place the islands exactly where you want on all four of them. If you've got a big community, maybe you're gonna have faction battles, so each faction can have a grid. There's a bunch of possibilities you can have. Clicking on that one, you'll see what is available in what locations and where. Obviously, if it's grayed out, it means they don't have them available right now. Now, I would suggest that you don't worry too much. As long as you are in the rough area or you're sort of bang in the middle, you may wanna consider just choosing the one closest after. Demand for servers is really high, and I probably should have done this video a little bit earlier, but I wanted to make sure people were getting their servers before I actually started showing you guys a tutorial on how to set and adjust them. Now there is a latency measurement, you can test your ping, you can test all sorts with this, so click on that if you're really unsure, it's the first time you've ever rented a server. I'm going to click on London, obviously, because that's my next location. Click on next, and then you've got here exactly what you're getting. Four servers with 10 player slots each, runs for 30 days and you've got your location. This is where you're gonna put the promo code JPG. And there you go, you can see it reduces it down from 37 something to 33. So always, always click on a link if you're doing that. If you're gonna buy a server for the first time, click on the link there, find the Atlas page, and then go ahead and type the code in. Now I'm gonna click on customize just to briefly show you what else you can change. Like I said, you can only have one server if you really want. You can change the slots, increase it by a fair amount, and you can increase the runtime, which you get a discount for if you run for a whole year. Once you've gone through the purchase stage and you have bought your servers, it's now to start time looking at the settings. FYI, if you are interested in any other type of game that the Trado offer, then you can go ahead and use my code JPG as long as you click on the link in my video and it'll work for any game. The only time it doesn't work is if you're renewing a server. The 10% is only for the first purchase, I do believe. So let's take a look at what I've got here. You can see I've got my two Atlas servers. I'm basically testing these because we're about to link up with GG Fizz and a bunch of other great content creators to have a huge, massive server map. 
we're going to be having nine grids to start with and we're going to be adding more as other content creators and communities start adding their servers to our cluster. If you've ever played Ark, it pretty much is like clustering your servers, except of course there is no load screens and you can travel from one server to the other. It's a lot simpler too. So in this section, click on the one that says your free pool or it says your home server. Then click on the interface login sign here and you've got some various options. You can stop your server, you can restart your server. I've got my server name of course, and don't worry this is just a temporary server so you can go ahead and try and hack and get onto my server by seeing my IP if you really really are bored, but I can change that at any time. Then you've got the server password so simply put what it is, and then this is the crucial bit. Any cluster that joins you, any server that adds onto your server cluster, whoever it is, if it's a friend of yours, it's another community, it's another YouTuber, they have to copy and paste this or you have to copy and paste it and give it to them. This is what they're going to need so that their servers link up with yours. Now the really unique and special thing about Atlas is that each single server can have all different settings on it. You can have one server, my server, that might have 50 slots and if GG Fizz links up his server with me, he might only want 20 slots. You can adjust if people have admin on certain servers and not other servers. It's all really customizable. So the first thing you're going to need to do though on a brand new install is configure your cluster. By clicking on this, you'll see you've got a sign here. It says you configure your Atlas server grid. So if you've got four servers, one server, two servers, nine, 10, 15, however many it is, you have these gray squares. You need to actually install your servers on each of these. By clicking on one, you'll just follow the prompts and click save. Now there's a few things you need to know about grids. For whatever reason, if you partner up with someone who's given you two servers maybe, if they decide to actually make their server go offline or maybe they haven't been buying their server anymore, you will lose access obviously. It's really advisable that when you're setting up your servers, you try and keep it to a square base. Don't have your servers diagonally or anything like that. The reason being is because you can't move across the map when they're diagonal. If I had placed this server down here, I would not be able to access this server because there is no pass through. So bear that in mind when you're starting out, creating your server, linking up with other people, make sure you always place your servers next to each other. Don't leave any sort of random ones in a diagonal position and don't mix up your servers with other players servers in between squares. Try and keep them as close to each other as possible so that if someone does decide they don't want to play Atlas anymore or run their server, you're not left with a dead server because you, no one can access it. I will go over that setting a little bit more or the rules of it in my actual island editor video. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer as many as I possibly can. Warning, if you're going to edit your servers, if you're going to add some new maps, add new some locations or different islands, you have to get all of that done before you kind of go live. If you've got two servers like this, you maybe edit one map and you leave the other map for a while and then you go live, you might come into significant problems if later on you want to change this map and add loads of different islands to it. More or less, this is down to a few teething problems with the game currently running. But this is what I did and it made me have to reinstall the whole configuration. So my best advice is, I'm going to show you how or where you can find an island editor so you can edit the islands but you must must make sure you've done that and you've uploaded all of them first if you do want to expand in the future it's not a problem it's only if you decide to start adjusting and editing the maps that have already gone live that you run into issues you can add other servers anytime now editing islands for your server can be quite complicated there isn't real huge easy method at the moment but I am going to show you the steps how to do that. It may be in a separate video, so make sure you check for the links down below and you keep up to date with my channel to make sure I've either posted it. But initially, if you just want to get started, that's how you do it. Make sure all four gray squares have gone yellow and you have a home server. Now underneath, you've got the same things that you've just seen. It's the cluster settings, so you can change the whole name of the cluster. You've got the password, so you can change the password. And you can change passwords for pretty much each individual island. But that's maybe not recommended. Try and keep things simple, otherwise people start getting confused, especially if you've got lots of grids, you've got quite a large community. When it comes to editing your islands, you're gonna need these options down here, uploading your server configuration, upload map images, and download server configuration. Again, I'm gonna be showing you that in a separate video. 
Okay, so you've got all four which are now yellow. Now go to general. And while they open up, it will be your home server that you're editing first, otherwise known as your Atlas main. I'm going to talk you through every single one of them settings, how you can configure them, how you can get the rates that you want, and how you can turn off the XP cap on your home server as well in the next video. So the link for it will be in the description down below and in the comment section. So go and click on that video if you want to find out more about the server settings. And don't forget, I will be covering also how to edit your islands and make your own custom made Atlas map. I am Jay Plays Games. If this has helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to go and watch the rest of the videos, and I'll see you in more Atlas content very soon. Bye bye.